Panzerkampf. In the blue square, we have the Hanabataki 27th Medium Armored Brigade, submitted by Headsetless Leaner. This team consists of one Type 6 Tsubaki Missile Carrier, one Type 72 Shiragiku SPG, one Type 72B Shiragiku SPG, and two Type 10C Yamazakura Medium Tanks. And facing them in the red square is the veteran team, the Death Masks. This team is submitted by Stoic Steve and consists of five Death Masks. Alright, the tanks are on the battlefield. My timer is ready, so let's get this thing underway. Three, two, one, fight! And right away, they settle onto the ground. I had to spawn the uh, some of the Hanabatake members a little high. Uh, due to the fact that two, the two on the outside there are actually set, set a little lower than the three in the middle. So if I spawn them so that the three in the middle are on the ground, the two on the sides get stuck in the ground. I found that out when I tried to record this episode, this uh, fight the first time, and I felt like such a noob. And now you know I actually messed up. I could have just kept quiet about that and no one would ever have known. Whatever. Oh dear! <laughs> oh no! Oh, that death mask! I don't know what went through it. That must have been a heat shell. Oh yeah, punch straight through that armor. And of course, once you get to those internals, it's gone. There goes a tank. Or it was a frag shell. Ooh, the missile. Look at that missile. Look how long that thing is. Jeez. Quit throwing telephone poles through my tanks. I can hear Stoke Steve saying. Yeah, I see that explosive burst. That looks like heat. It's not very high caliber. Or it doesn't have a lot of uh, radius to it. Yeah, those are heat shells. And heat will go clean through this right here. Now, explosions, it won't do much won't do much to the actual tank if they hit the, the mask, but uh, a heat shell will go clean through that. Ooh, that's a big, big frag shell. That must, that, that went clean through it as well. Wow. Some very effective tanks, but it looks like one of the Hanabatakis have lost their head. Oh, well. I don't know which one that is. I think it's uh, one of the SPGs. Maybe, I think the medium tanks are on the outside. There goes, is that the missile carrier? I think that's the missile carrier, yes. Yep, that's the missile carrier. Look at how stylish these things are. Oh no, <laughs> another death mask is gone for a, fl for a flight. Oh jeez, I guess it was an SPG they got taken out. Look at this though, see how they used the uh, ERA? Yeah, it's got four missiles, that is so clever, I love that. Although it's about to shoot itself in the face, I think, if it launches through those, uh, those flags. Oh man, oh, oh no, oh no. <laughs> well, it looks like that uh, beheaded tank has caught the medium tank and is holding it in place. And it looks like both SPGs have lost their heads. Or are those the medium tanks? I can't tell. I don't know which ones these are. They're not doing much, are they? Just kind of rolling forward. And this shell's bouncing off of it left and right. Now these are the SPGs, so the medium tanks have lost their heads. The medium tanks were doing a lot of damage earlier. And now they're not doing anything at all. If they don't fight back, these death masks are pretty much going to get a free win. In spite of killing off two of them. Oh, but this is a side shot. Will that mask left by the dead... Oh, no, it won't. Clean through the side. And there goes a mask. Not quite the... Oh, there it is. I was going to say, not quite the reaction I expected. I thought that would core it. Yes, it did. <laughs> Unfortunately, that second missile tried to follow it up in the air. And so it is missed. And there's a pretty much a waste of a shot. One of those missiles from the side is enough to take these things out, and now the missile, the uh, Tsubaki missile carrier, has the rear and the sides of these death masks. They're heavily armored from the front, but from the side, they don't do much. Ooh, that went, that missed, or did it go clean through? I can't tell. Looks like the uh, SPGs have a very long reload on them. Both the Hanaba, both of the uh, medium tanks are still alive, but they don't have many repair bots in them, or at least not enough to get these turrets up and running again quickly. It looks like once you kill off their uh, their turrets, they're pretty much useless. They can't rebuild fast, and those turrets apparently aren't that strong. Yeah, they're just sitting there doing nothing, so it's really up to that missile carrier and these SPGs. And I hate to say it, but I think really what's gonna, what needs to happen is that the SPGs need to not do that. They need to stay alive long enough that they will uh, you know, distract these death masks. Obviously, they're going to keep their front towards the enemy, so they're going to shoot the nearest one facing them. And if they, if the uh, SPG can keep its, uh, that lone SPG can keep their attention long enough, and maybe put some good shots through them, who knows? Then 
hopefully this uh, this missile carrier can get their rear and take them out it has some very powerful missiles but unfortunately they take forever to launch there goes one will it land I don't see the the, the oh there it goes oh it just wasted a shot that's unfortunate it did not need to let that one go it's gonna get this one though will it hit oh no oh a glancing blow the laser targeter was aiming at the mask it needed to hit the rear there that thing it's a thing that happens a lot with uh, lasers they they tend to uh, jitter around a lot especially with the settings like they are um, that's just unfortunate really oh wow Oh, the SPG is struggling. This missile carrier is doing a good job. It just needs to get in there. It needs to get these missiles off quicker. And because the missiles are so long, it takes a while to reload them. Oh, oh dear. There's another Hanabataki tank down. There's only one medium tank and one SPG left. They're both heavily injured. Neither of them have any weapons on them. They're basically just meat shields for the SPG. The SPG is the, the single one remaining with a functioning gun or weapon, and it looks like it's about to get focused down by this death mask. And that might be it for this team if it cannot get this tank. It, it needs to kill this tank right here. It needs to punch clean through it with that. Oh, that didn't go well, though. That mask doing a good job keeping out the, uh, the frags, and it looks like this will be the end unless that SPG gets really lucky right there clean through the mask did it go through it looks like it went straight through the hole right there it got straight look at that it went clean through that hole where the cannon comes out blew the mask clean into the air now they have a fighting chance they have to kill this last remaining death mask but it's all alone now, and it has two tanks left to kill, and it's not looking at the one that it needs to focus down, the one with the functioning gun still on it. This SPG has hung in there for so long. Can it pull out the win? It just needs to take some more hits. It needs to, to keep those blocks repaired. I don't know if the Hanabatakis have any repair capabilities. They do. There they are. So it's, it's keeping it up just enough that it can, you know, can keep them alive. It was very, very fortunate that that uh, missile carrier got three missiles off that time and that it managed to connect them. That last one went straight through the mast. That was so, so lucky. Oh, uh, but that missile, will it be able to turn in time? It looks like it will. Oh, and because of the launch trajectory, it might even... No, 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 no. Oh, it turned way too far. Okay, hit the cannon barrel and exploded. I thought for a second because it fired off to the, the side here, it was going to come around from the side and nuke that, uh, that death mask. But now the death mask has the side of the Tsubaki missile carrier. We have two minutes and 48 seconds remaining. And all that it needs to do is to take out that missile carrier, take out its gun, take out its ammunition, take out something, and it will pretty much win. It's already despawned everyone else. This is 1v1. Both the medium tank and the SPG are gone. Two tanks remain on the field. The missile carrier is down to 88%. This death mask is at 96 But we know very well that it only takes one lucky hit from this thing to kill the death mask. Will it be able to get a shot off? There goes the ammunition. Is that all that it carried? Is that it? If that was all the... Oh, no, it wasn't all the ammunition. Oh, no, that la that remaining mask caught that missile. So it, it cut the firepower down. The cannon barrels are still active. They are still shredding this one. One more missile. Will it connect? It does, but it does not punch through the heavy armor mask. And now the tank has to turn to get itself back on course. But it can still shoot. Oh, this is so, so close. The Hanava, the missile carrier has a long reload. We're at a minute 42. Oh, no! The missile launcher is offline. Oh, how unfortunate. It needs to repair that quickly. It looks like one went right through the side here. Took out the local weapon controller somewhere on this tank. It's repairing very fast. I like I like the repair speed on this. You see what it took out there was that probably those ammo barrels on the side. Uh, there goes another ammo detonation, but it hasn't killed the tank. 62%. Will it be able to bring that missile launcher back online? We're at less than a minute remaining right now, and this death mask is just ripping through this Tsubaki missile carrier. And there goes the turret, and two damaged. And that will be the end of this fight.
So congratulations to Stoic Steve, your death masks have pulled through just by the skin of their teeth, and we'll move on to the primary brackets. And uh, my condolences, Headsetless Leaner, your Hanabataki 27th Medium Armored Brigade was an amazing opponent for these tanks, but just couldn't quite get the win there. So you'll be going down to the secondary brackets for another try. Thank you both for participating, and thanks to all who watched this. I've been Chromo, and until next time, I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye. <laughs>